Hello, this is Mr. Rogers, and this is a video demonstration of Scratch and how to build a video game that includes a variable and a way to score the game. It's a lot of fun. Let's get started. So first come to Scratch, and then make sure to sign in with your username and password. That way we can save your work. The next step is we're going to go in and we're going to click on Create. When you come to Create, you'll see the task panes. This task pane over here is for the general uh, kind of stage where we can see what happens. All the programming and script work is appears here. Down below are the characters, or what are called sprites. So we're going to be adding sprites to our work. This side here is a backdrop, so you can change the stage and see what uh, different characters would work in and the environment that would be there. This is where you place the code, and the code comes from over here, and then you build sentences or scripts that tell the sprites and the background what to do. Well, let's get started. So first, we're going to name this project, and it's always important to name your projects, Dog and Bone. Press Enter, and that will be saved there. So now we have it named Dog and Bone. Fantastic. All right. Now, since it's called Dog and Bone, we won't be using Scratch the Cat. So we'll have to take him out. To do so, we come down here, and there's a little trash can next to his uh, sprite. Just click on that, and he will disappear. Now we're going to add a new sprite. Come to the cat. Go up to the magnifying glass. And when you click on it, it will pre present you with the stock images that come with Scratch. Click on Animals. We're going to click on Dog 2. That's the sprite of choice. So select him. And now he is in our scene and ready to go. There are a few edits to Dog 2 that I'd like to do that'll make him more fun as you play the game. So we're going to come over to the left side, above where all the code buttons are, and we're going to click on Costumes. In Costumes, you'll see that Dog 2 has three costumes. Now, I like the first two costumes because when you go back and forth and you animate that, it makes it look like he's walking. But the third costume doesn't really fit, so I'm going to delete that costume, so click the trash can. All right, my costumes are ready to go, and then later when I animate him to walk around, he'll be ready. I'm going back to the Code tab. Now, we want this dog to be a little bit smaller for our game. He really fills up the, uh, the dashboard, so we're going to make him a bit smaller. Come down to Size, change to 75%, and then that makes him considerably smaller. Excellent. You're doing great. Now, we need to add um, a variable. We're going to bring in some variables here, and we're going to make the dog kind of follow our mouse pointer around the screen. Fun little trick. So coming over to our code area, we're going to click on the dark orange called variables, and we're going to create a new variable. OK? So that's this white box here. Click that, and we're going to call it score, S-C-O-R-E. And you can leave it for all sprites. Don't need to change that. And then we're going to press OK. All right. Now you'll notice, after I did that, if you look up here in the task pane, you will see that I have a score ready to go, set to 0. So it's ready to keep track. But we need to do a little bit more. So here's the next step. We're going to need a flag. So come over to Events. Click on when flag is clicked. And let me get that a little larger so you can see that. Great. The next thing is we're going to go back to variables, and we're going to make sure that every time we play this game, we are going to set a score to 0. So you want to click on this set my variable to 0 and bring that in there ready to go. Now my variable isn't going to work, so drop the arrow. Make sure to select score. That's the one we chose. Now, by selecting that, it will affect this box right here on our game. The next step is, well, we would like the dog to follow around our mouse indefinitely, forever. So we're going to need a forever block. That means it loops. So come over to Events, sorry, Control, which is the lighter orange. And we're going to click and drag out 
a forever block. Great. Now nothing's going to happen when I press the green flag until I put something inside this loop. The first thing I'd like it to do is always point to my mouse. So I'm going to go to motion. I'm going to look for point towards mouse pointer. And that's, oh, I don't know, seventh or eighth one down. Drag that in and snap it inside our loop. Now if you press play, he should look at your mouse all the time. Please always test your code and see if it works. So right now, as I move my mouse around the stage, that dog is following it like a hound. Press stop to end that. Great. Well, now I'd like him to move a little bit. So I'm going to go get the move block. Now, 10 steps is pretty large. We'll slow him down a little bit. I'd like to change that to two. Click enter. And now if you press go, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. So now he's following my mouse around. That's pretty cool, right? Following the mouse, moving two steps at a time. If it was 10, he'd be going a lot faster. But we want the game to be a little bit challenging. Go ahead and press stop. And now it would be really neat if we could get him to look like he's walking. So I'm going to go get that costumes. We're going to go over here to looks. And we're going to bring in this one. It's called next costume. And what that's going to do, it's going to loop it back and forth so that it looks like he's running. Like I showed you before, there's two costumes for this character. Press play and let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Oh, he's going crazy. So it's like he's uh, jumping around, moving around real quick on the stage. It's very funny. I like that. All right. So our dog is ready to go. Now we need another sprite. He's going to be catching bones. So we're going to have to make a bone sprite. To do that, we'll come back down to the cat at the bottom. And we are going to paint. We're going to make our own sprite. Now in the paint section, you will see there's many tools to use. The tool we're going to start with is the brush. So click on the brush. We're going to change the fill color to black so that we have a great outline for our bone. You might want to change the thickness. I'm going to go up to maybe 15 on the thickness of my bone, and that looks pretty good. Now, with the best artistic skill ever, draw a bone. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I know mine won't be. So clicking on my bone here. All right. And then make sure to connect it when it's finished. If you don't connect it, then we can't fill it later with a cool color. Now that my bone's connected, you can see it's rather large, but before you saw us resize. So we're going to do that later. OK. Now we're going to take this bone. We're going to fill it with a color. So click on the paint bucket. Change the fill color. Um, you can do that by switching colors out or do the saturation. Just play with it a little bit. And eventually, these other colors will come back. I'm going to try to get kind of a bone color here yellowish, something that I would see the dog chewing on in the backyard. And I'm going to fill that bone just like that. Looks great. All right. Now, uh, we'll come back. We're going to resize it. So come back to the code here. And we're going to take that 100%. We're going to kick it down to like 25%. And let's see what that looks like. Ah, that's perfect. Very good size for a bone. I love it. OK, so you guys should have a bone like that. Now, since we're on the code, this bone doesn't have any script. So we don't. it doesn't do anything when I press play. The only thing that happens is the dog moves. And that's great, but I'd like it to when the dog, when the bone appears, that the dog goes to the bone. The bo when the dog touches the bone, then the bone will disappear, and I get a score. So I'm going to stop and put a script on the bone. Here's the script. Get ready. First, we're going to need that flag again, so bring that out. Very important to have a flag for the bone. Remember, bone is clicked, not the dog. The dog has his own script, and here's our bone script. Now, um, when the dog touches the bone, we want it to hide. But before it hides, we'd like it to show when it starts the game. So we need to go to looks, and we're going to come down on the list to where it says show and hide. And these are two uh, commands we'll be using throughout this. So there's show. And that's when the flag is clicked, then he's going to show up. Once again, we're going to need that forever loop piece. So we're going to go to control, 
Grab forever, snap it on. Inside forever, we're gonna make some conditions. Like, so if the dog touches the bone, well, what happens? Well, we make a score and then the bone disappears. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So let's see what happens. I am going to now go and grab our variable. And then the variable here, we want to change the score as opposed to uh, setting the score. So this will be a change score, change it to m the score. And we'll go by one point for fun. And we also need, and I've, I put that in a little early, my apologies, we had to have that if block. So let's bring that in. If the dog is touching, then we're gonna do something. So we're gonna need an if and then block. Looks like this, drag it out and snap it into the forever. Now we can take our score piece, put that in there. And now you'll see this little hexagon shape. And that is for putting in uh, like a sensing piece. And sensing is blue and we want them to be touching something. So if we touch something, then it's going to change the score. Now the touch can be changed to the dog. We want it to be the dog. Great, looks good. Now after it touches it, it's gonna change the score by one, and we'd like it to hide the dog. So drag in a hide block, and there you go. Excellent, let's test our work. Press play, here we go. There's our bone, let's bring the dog over. Watch that score, hey it worked! My bone disappeared, and I've got a score of one. Fantastic, cool. All right, now to play the game, we just need more bones, and that's easy to do. So I'm gonna press start again and stop so I can see my bone. If you right click or do a two finger touch on the sprite, so you bring your cursor down here, put two fingers on it and press it, you'll see a duplicate button. Now that duplicates not only the sprite, but the code that's with it. The script over here comes with it. So I can duplicate that. Now I have two and I can spread them around the board. It's a lot of fun to play. I think you're gonna have a, lot, a, a great time uh, trying this out. And of course, you can do any kind of variation you'd like to see what works better. You can change it from dogs to bones to cats, uh, whatever you like. So that's all there is to it. Thank you very much.